When internet famous boss chicks say men need to match their grind, you ever stop and think, what is their grind? We'll get back to that in a few and it's crazy. Trust me. I watched over 30 videos of women saying men need to match their hustle. And I found out that when you investigate what their hustle is, how they do it, how much they make and who they do it with and what they become after they do it, there are some shocking correlations on all of these women that we are about to break down to the molecule. Let's get it. You got the nerve to argue with me and you broke? You need to be my peace, man. You need to be my peace. The last thing I want to hear is a word from you. I need peace. You're broke and you providing chaos? No. I'm sorry, but you can't be, you got to pick a struggle. So when she thought it her way to a $3 million net worth off the collective income of probably thousands, if not millions of men, now she's left agitated that one man won't show up matching the amounts that she siphoned off of the general population of men. But when y'all live together and you're the only one that's concerned about when the bills are due and how much you have to pay them, it's a turn off. Interesting. They can get thousands of men with jobs that give them millions, but they can't get one man with a job who's willing to stick around. You're literally in the business of interacting with men with money, but the guy with you is a juice box drinking couch surfer? Every relationship I've been in always having to feel like I had to be the man. It's like, dang, like, can I finally get some peace around here? The end game for women that hustle men to get rich is that they have to ultimately become men after they gain the money and power. But they don't want to be burdened with the responsibility that comes with that money and power. But you wanted it, you got it. So stop looking for a high value man because you are one. Just start going around asking dudes what's their height, weight, and shoe size. Most successful women, we love to deal with someone that has a lot of availability and a lot of time to be able to be with us because we're very busy, to cater to us, to give us the things we need. AKA, most of the time when people are like that, they don't really have nothing going for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's for a reason. They're able to love bomb you. They're able to give you all that love and intimacy and all the things that you've been wanting and yearning for all that time because they have nothing going on. Does that not sound like what high earning men say they want? Now she's going to explain why she hates the thing that she wants. And you realize, wow, I, I've been dating someone that has nothing going on. And now I'm starting to like put the pieces to the puzzle together of I'm trying to get them to have something going on. But this is just their personality. They don't want to have anything going on. Then that's when the problems come. Because it's like, dang, like I'm dealing with a whole life bum. I'm dealing with a whole life person that doesn't have any ambition or goals. And it's not a hustler. So then that's when you're like, dang, like I can't do this. Like. I'm the only one hustling in this relationship and I'm getting turned off by seeing someone that I have to treat like a child and drag. It, it gets tiring. I'm already trying to push myself every day. Now I got to try to push you. When women go on these couches and talk about how they're pushing themselves to greatness, the thing that they are pushing themselves to do is some of the most salacious stuff ever. But it gets set down and discussed like it's a healthy conversation about black economics. She's a cyber twat salesman talking about generational wealth. Dang, like, can I finally get some peace around here where I don't have to be the only one concerned about how we're going to create generational wealth. The only equivalent to that would be is if a drug dealer was talking about generational wealth. But the salacious things that men could do to make money fast like a woman with a BBL are illegal. And we fill prisons up with men who tried to get away with doing those illegal things. The women who make money off of being cyber twat salesmen uh, remotely or in person can sit there and criticize men who have to get it at a normal legal pace. Or they just get with the guy who's getting it illegally and then after he gets locked up, they just move on to the next one. Because almost no man can keep up with the cash flow of a cyber twat salesman. When the internet boss chick says men can't match her grind, no, we literally can't match her grind. Because her grind is literally grinding on something that we don't want to be near. It's as if she thinks men can go get a BBL and flip it after the scars heal. Almost every chick you see on Instagram that has followers that has made it into the 500K area has some type of contact information or booking information. And if the price is right, they will catch a flight. And these literally be the same women that be on these podcasts talking about men are broke while they're literally getting rich off of men. By one, posting content on social media, advertising, let's just call it the product. Two, sell the product directly to the highest bidder, or three, cycle them to your OnlyFans where they can buy subscriptions and ultimately watch somebody else using the product. Then they get rich and become the man in their personal relationship and sit on those couches complaining about not having a man that can match their grind. Make no mistakes. That is the hustle and the grind that men can't match. 
You literally can pick one of these chicks at random. Type in their IG name and the word OnlyFans into Google, then click videos. At least one or more leaked videos will pop up and you literally will be able to watch the grind that they are shaming men for not being able to keep up with. You'd think they were on their solving world hunger or something.